All right. When it comes to testimonies, I would have to say mine is pretty plain. I did not have a grand moment where I broke into tears or praise whenever I fully believed, but rather a steady climb throughout my entire life. I was simply born into the church, which I never saw issue with, but at certain points I definitely strayed away from the faith. But for the most part, I had always had Jesus in the back of my mind. When I was a kid, me and my older brother were the, I can remember that me and my older brother were always excited every time we went to church, and I'm not entirely sure why we were, we were so excited when I look back at these moments. I think we liked the music and getting to meet the other kids. It's pretty much changed. My parents got divorced when we moved in with my grandparents, who, while they are different now, were extremely judgmental and almost fire and brimstone. This somewhat put a dent in our faiths, and nonetheless, sometimes we still enjoy going to church sometimes. I remember we were essentially forced into Awanas at our church, but this actually allowed me to become very, very knowledgeable on the scriptures at an early age, so I appreciate it now. I can recall being top of the class and being able to flip to any book in the Bible as fast as possible. Despite this, things began to change when I became a teenager, around 13 years old. We moved in with my stepmother, who happened to come from a Catholic family. This had a profound impact on my faith, but luckily not my perceived theology. Either way, going to Catholic Mass made me appreciate my Baptist churches because those weren't taught in Latin. We did try attending a few non-denominational churches that were essentially just Protestant, but my interest in church really declined during my teenage years, which lasted up until I was about 16. Around 16, I became interested in the Reformation after learning about it in school and truly began wondering whether Catholicism was the way to go or not. I struggled between that and Protestantism, mostly because I didn't have a good understanding of theology and the, and the flaws of the Catholic system. It was during this time that, whether I was Catholic or Protestant, I began my interest in seminary. I had become obsessed with righteousness and had a very childish notion that righteousness could be achieved through character and good works, but I think this is one of my leftover influences from the Catholic Church. From around 16 and 19, my church attendance was lackluster, but I still had interest in the faith, and I always thought that I could never give up the faith. From around 19 to 20, I began a very hedonistic lifestyle after moving to a college town, and this is where my faith was at its lowest. I, st I still looked at my necklace every day, but I had no interest in going to church. Around halfway through my 20th year, I broke down after being overwhelmed from sin that I began begging God to change me. It was around the summer of 2020 that I truly began to believe again, and this was wonderful for me. Despite this, I still did not want to have blind faith, so I began a new, a heavy study of apologetics to turn me into someone that can answer almost any question and doubt about doubts of the faith. And in studying this, I realized that Bible college was right for me. I had realized that Christianity was objectively true and wanted to be a part of the greatest truth on earth. 